Patrick Stealing. That was the, our host uh, getting the licks in. The, uh, and uh, we are now uh, videotaping in the home of uh, Stephen uh, and Jackie. And the, the one thing I guess we should say in the very beginning, before we get uh, uh, you know, too far ahead of ourselves, is that this is an original. In other words, we're not taking anything nor taking away from uh, the value of 12-step programs uh, or even A Course in Miracles because this is coming to us in a language, as you'll soon see, uh, which uses Course in Miracles language. It's very beautifully done, as you also will see. And uh, my gut feeling is that uh, this group here in Fort Lauderdale uh, will be joined uh, with many, many other groups uh, all over the world. I'm fairly certain that the, uh, uh, ultimately, in time, all of the things that we're doing will be translated into every single language that the world now knows, as is happening with A Course of Miracles. Um, what you might not know is that the, um, I guess it was 20 some odd years ago, uh, my cousin Paul Steinberg and I started what appears to be the first group, study group, of A Course in Miracles uh, in my office, which was at that time in uh, Melville, Long Island, New York. And the, of course, today, 1999, the very beginning, uh, there's probably not a city in the world that does not have a group of uh, A Course in Miracles. So with all that said, uh, and the introductions uh, properly made, uh, I just want to say one more thing, which is basically about our purpose. In other words, what is the purpose of these groups getting together? Uh, I think uh, and feel uh, rather confident that the purpose of this group is, number one, to eliminate fear. There are many, many uh, groups that uh, meet and uh, a lot of support groups that get together and I visited a great many of them. And the one thing that I picked up, or maybe more than one thing, but the thing that stands out in my mind is that a lot of these support groups uh, leaves one or two or 50 uh, with a feeling of fear. This is not our focus here. Uh, our focus is to leave everyone with a feeling of love, uh, which of course, uh, of course, a miracle tells us that it's either love or it's fear, but it cannot be both, not at the same time. So our focus will be to create a very loving, healthy um, environment with no fear present uh, because someone has an addiction to anything. An addiction itself is not a bad word, in my opinion. It's just a word that the world has embraced as seeing someone with a problem. I don't see it as a problem. I see it more as a habit. 